yes so here are pictures which you are which we are going to discuss so here the first topic that is your ionization energy but the ionization energy as i explained that to you in your previous class that means the amount of energy required to remove the electron from the outermost cell okay yes that is known as ionization energy okay okay yes so if an uh, if an atom is releasing electron okay yes so that will be positive ionization energy okay okay yeah we I mean, suppose that any element that you can take that like sodium okay when sodium will release one electron then it will convert into sodium ion okay okay so in that way in that way that will be electropositive okay and also yes, yes. secondly in here you are also writing that second ionization energy that means uh, remove one electron from the positive ion yes so whatever ion will be there suppose that if there is a sodium ion if you will release one electron again then that will convert into second uh, ionization energy okay okay and is that positive or negative this uh, second ionization energy yes that will be uh, that will be positive also yes Oh, so because you are ionizations are positive. Yeah, because you are releasing electrons. Okay. Oh. Yes, you are releasing electron. More energy. Yeah, if there will be maximum number of electron in the outermost cell, regarding to that one, more energy that will be required. Okay. Oh, okay. More energy that will be required. Oh, so that means the uh, second ionization energy energy there's more energy required for the second ionization compared to the first ionization. Yes, exactly. That's right. Oh, and similarly, like the third ionization requires more energy than the second one, and so on and so forth. Yes. Oh, okay. That's okay. right. So, I means also you can understand. Give me one second. I am writing on a screen, so it will be much convenient for you to understand that. so suppose that you can understand means suppose that there will be sodium so sodium having atomic number 11 electronic configuration will be 2 8 1 okay yes. yes so it means one electron it contains in its outermost cell so that means the least amount of energy that is required to emit this electron okay okay but suppose that calcium you can take that or any other element okay so calcium ca what is the atomic number of calcium can you tell me uh, calcium would be one second i'm just checking the periodic table yeah i think that is 12 or 22 and uh, 12 i believe is for carbon uh, one second okay where is the no, 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 right atomic number of carbon that is six calcium okay give me one second atomic number of calcium yeah it's 20 20 that's 20 yeah that's right okay so that means it will be 20 So twenty, you can arrange that two, eight, eight, and it will be two. Okay. So here you can see that two electrons are in the outermost cell. So that means calcium ionization energy that will be greater than sodium ionization energy because maximum amount of energy will be required to remove two electron as compared to one electron. Clear? Uh yes 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 that's right that's right understand this one I understood yes and also beta uh, ionization energy okay ionization energy because you are releasing electron so always that will be endothermic okay endothermic okay yeah because it requires energy to remove electron okay oh okay okay, okay yes okay. 
So what do you mean by it requires energy to remove electron? That means you're taking energy from the surrounding, right? Yes, 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 yes. Oh, it okay. requires. I mean, suppose that there is a system. Okay, so system will require energy to remove electron. Then that is that process or that equation or that energy, that uh, chemical reaction will be endothermic. Okay. Oh. Exothermic. That means when they release energy. Okay, and exothermic. Uh, sorry, endothermic. That means the when they absorb energy. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. I see. So yeah, I understand this one. I understand this one. I think you can scroll down a little bit. Perhaps that's more. Yes, 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 yes. I am getting down. Yeah, the first addition of energy of potassium. Oh yes, yes potassium. This one, in this one, they'll give you what they'll give you is that they'll give you a bunch of shells and they'll tell you to find out which is the biggest jump between two shells. And since there's a big jump between the third and fourth shell, they're saying that there are three electrons on the outer shell or something like yes. that. Yes, actually, I aluminium, aluminium having atomic number thirteen. Uh, okay. Yes, that's right. So it will be two, eight, and three. Oh, so there will be three electron in the outermost cell. Okay. Okay. Yes. So oh, electronic so configuration. Out, so we can prove that by looking at the number of shells, right? Since from the third to fourth shell there is a big jump, therefore there are three electrons on the outer shell, right? Yes. Oh, so this is the evidence of the existence of a quantum shell. Yes, you are right. You are right. Yes. Oh, but why is that? I, I wrote it down, but again, I don't know the reason why. Actually, uh, Mr. Big, big, big Beta, you are writing here as there is a big jump, okay, between the third yeah. ionization energy and the fourth ionization energy, okay? Yeah. So, in that condition, in third, uh, third ionization energy, it requires the maximum number uh, maximum energy okay to remove electron okay okay yes that's why that if energy will be maximum then that's why that ionization energy that will also be maximum so in that condition they are saying that it is an evidence for the existence of quantum shell yes because quantum shell they have their different energy level okay I mean suppose that if there are different energy level so you must require the definite amount of energy to move from second to third, okay? Yes, that's fair. But actually, yeah. So when you will move from second to third with excess amount of energy, so you would like to be there until or unless that excess amount of energy that will not combust. And when that will combust, then again you would like to come back to your second orbit, okay? Oh, so can I say that uh, normally when there's a jump, there, there, there's a small jump between the shells, the electron is still in the orbit. But when the electron... Yeah, away in, from better, the orbit, simply you can understand a small jump, a small jump that means less energy, okay? Okay. Yeah, and a high jump or... Yeah, high jump, high jump, that is your maximum energy, okay? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, so that means first to second that will be your less jump, but second to third as its orbit that is large, okay? Yes. As its orbit that is large, so maximum amount of energy that will require to move from second to third as compared to first to second, okay? Oh, yes. Means you, can sim if, beta, you can simply understand that suppose that there is a bridge, okay? One bridge are, is a narrow bridge, okay? You are seeing here, okay? And one bridge that is a little bit broad, okay? So 100% and you want to cross, okay? You want to cross both the bridge, okay? You okay. want to cross both the bridge. So 100% that if you want to cross this narrow bridge, so a little bit amount of energy that you will require to cross, okay? okay. But if you want to cross this broad bridge, okay? So firstly, you have to store energy in your body and then in that condition you will start to jump okay or you will jump after oh, it may be possible that you would like to go back a little bit and then you will start to run and then from after reaching this position and then you will jump okay oh i see i see i see yes so it means what when the 
when the distance or difference between the orbit that will be less so less amount give me one second give me one yes. second Sorry. So, do you understand this one? Yes, definitely. I understood this one. Yes, yes. So, also, but you can see here when you will, yeah, you can understand with the help of this uh, example what you had written over here. Is the first one? In first, are you able to see this green color? Uh, no, I can't see the green color. Green color here. Okay, you use white. White is easiest. White, wait, 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 wait. Then I am removing this one. Yes. So we can use white. Yeah. So here, now you are able to see. Yes, clearly. Yeah. So suppose that there is an aluminium. Okay. Okay. So aluminium. Uh, what is A? Okay, not of aluminium. They are not taking aluminium. Simply there is A. Okay, so when A will release one electron, then it will come A plus. Okay. Okay. When again A plus will remove one electron, then it will convert into A plus two. Yes, that's right. Okay. And when again A plus two will release one electron, then it will convert A plus three. Okay. Yes, that's right. So that means what? What, what and when a plus 3 that will release one electron then it will convert a plus 4 okay yes that's right so these four process that they are writing here okay so that means 3 to 4 okay 3 to 4 here you can see that because uh, 3 electrons that you have to remove okay Three electrons yes. that you have to remove as compared to the first one okay so three electron you are removing that means their energy will be maximum okay as compared yes. to removing of one electron okay so that's oh. why that they are saying that the there will be the big jump between the third ionization energy okay to fourth one okay and this only has happens for gas particles, right? Because I remember yes. reading somewhere that this ionization only happens in gas particles, right? Yes, yes, yes. You are right. You are oh, right. So yes. this cannot happen in solid or liquid or any other state. Yes, right? I means how is it possible to uh, miss, uh, uh, happen in solid? Because solid, the particles, they are very close to each other. And also that means there becomes no gap. And also if the gap is there, so the gap will be approximately same. Okay, uh, so in that condition, the energy or ionization energy that will also be the same. Yes, yes, okay? that makes sense. That makes yes, sense. So and with respect to gas particle, you can see that all the particles they have, uh, they do not have their definite uh, means uh, space between the particles. Yes, oh, sometimes yes, the yes. space would like to be less, sometimes the space would like to be more. So, when the space would like to be more, so in that condition, maximum amount of energy that will require to move from one particle to another particle, okay? Yes, yes, yes. This makes sense, this makes sense. Understand? Yeah, I just want to understand. I think we can move on to the next picture, because that's yes, all for this Yes, okay. Yes, yes. I'm refreshing that, Bita. Give me one second. So your father was uh, uh, telling me that uh, after few days there will be holiday. Oh, uh, there will? Can't remember. I haven't checked the calendar. <laughs> uh, I haven't checked the calendar. So I'm not sure myself. Oh. Yeah. But maybe there is. I don't know. Maybe there, there might be something. Is there any holiday of October? I don't know. I have to check the calendar. No, no, no. In your school, their uh, holidays are getting started. Uh, again, I can't remember. I didn't uh, check the oh, calendar. I don't know that. <laughs> then why he messaged me? Uh, yeah, I have to check the calendar because yes. I don't. Uh, okay, no problem. So here, 
you can see that now next picture is this one which you had sent that to me beta yes that's right yes because also that uh, you are in china so also i don't know about that uh, when the uh, miss vacations or something that would like to be start there <laughs> yes. yes a little bit i know uh, in america or france germany spain australia and almost all other countries but specifically in china <laughs> because very uh, miss two only two students two or three students are there of china only <laughs> okay so here but next page which you had sent that to me trends between periods and within group okay so trends beta you are asking so related to uh, okay the ionization in the second period have a higher ionization energy than that of third period yes that's right yes, yes that's right so that means ionization energy okay ionization energy that will be more in previous period than the next period okay oh so that means ionization energy increases as we go down the group oh, sorry increases as we go right as we go side. left to right yes Oh, left from left to right when we go from the periodic table, the ionization increases. Yes, and mm -hmm. up to down it decreases. Up to down it decreases. Oh. Yes, actually reason is that first one that is uh, atomic atomic radius that would like to increase. Uh, but wait a second, I think that ionization uh, ionization energy that will decrease from the period beta from left to right. Give me one second. Yes. Yes. Ionization energy. As usually you know that ionization energy it moves when you will move from left to right. Okay. Left to ionization right. energy that will decrease, beta. You know why? Because the atomic size will decrease. Okay, but but in the periodic table from left to right, it's increasing. Like uh, boron, ha boron has more uh, higher atomic radius than beryllium, which has higher atomic radius than lithium. Beta from left to right, atomic size decreases, and if atomic size decreases, okay, so ionization energy uh that oh, wait, will left to right it's increasing i have the periodic table in front of me from left to right the period is increasing actually from 10 12 14 16 19 22 it's increasing. no no beta you are seeing atomic number just see that atomic uh, atomic ionization energy yeah you mean the atomic radius right there it's increasing but the atomic the atomic number the atomic radius is also increasing from 10.8 12 14 wait, wait a second wait a second hold on hold on i mean yeah. to say as we move from left to right okay atomic number increases okay and when atomic number increases then atomic size will decrease okay oh it's not like that atomic number increases <coughs> Oh my god, this is so strange because I remember in class it was the opposite. Atomic number increases, therefore atomic size decreases. Decreases, okay. <coughs> because the outer particles will apply the larger amount of force regarding to that one the size of atom will decrease, okay? Oh. And if atomic size decreases, so that means maximum amount of energy will be required to emit the electron. Okay. <coughs> oh, so is the second means, reason also wrong? Is the second energy, energy increases? <coughs> so wait, that no, one, I want to drink please. water, please. Yeah, sure. sure.
So wait, the atomic number, so the atomic number increases, therefore the atomic size decreases. As a result, the ionization energy increases, right? Yes. Oh, that means the book is right. It's just that it doesn't explain in great detail, that's all. But what is written is exact, is correct, except for the atomic radius, right? The, that reason is wrong. In beta, only you have, actually, atomic radius as I explained that to you, that is, it is the distance between the center of nucleus and the outermost cell. Clear? Atomic radius, right? Yes. Okay, yes, that's right. And, uh, beta ionization, which you are talking about ionization energy, that is also known as ionization potential, okay? Ionization potential, okay. Yes, because that ionization energy is what? You in in your book means whatever that you had written a little bit I had seen there. That means the amount of energy required to remove the electron from the outermost cell. Clear? Yes, yes. that's clear. So that is ionization energy, or that is also known as ionization potential. Okay. Okay. Ionization potential. So that means regarding to that one, if we move from left to right, okay. Left to right. Okay. Yeah. So ionization potential that will increase. Oh, okay, okay. Why? Because atomic number will increase. That's why atomic size decreases. Always remember, okay, that as we move from left to right, okay, when means as you are moving from left to right, so atomic number will increase or not? Yes, that's right. Atomic number will increase. That means the number of electron in the outermost cell that will increase or not. Yes, you will have more shells as well. And then, yeah, if there will be more cells or more number of electron will be there, in that condition, they will apply a force of a force of attraction towards the nucleus or not. Yes, that's right. So in that condition, their size will decrease as we move from left to right, okay? Oh, I yes. see. Yes, left to right, size decrease. Size decreases. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes, and up to down, size increases. Up to down, size increases. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Okay, and better, as the size decreases, as the size decreases, so that means what? So the in atom, the all the uh, all the electrons that will be that will be closer to each other. Okay, so if you want to remove one electron, then maximum amount of energy you will require or not? Yes, that's right. That's why I'm saying here that ionization energy or ionization potential that will increase from left to right. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Yes. 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 And also, just vice versa is there that if atomic size increases okay so yes. ionization potential decreases okay oh, can, you say that one, can you say that the last sentence one more time yeah i am saying that yeah whatever that i i explained that to you i had written here and also that your video is recording so i'll upload that after your class okay yes and secondly beta atomic number when atomic number increases that means there will be maximum number of electron in the outermost cell as we move from left to right, I had simple, you can understand that one, then two, then three, then four, then five, then six or not, huh? In yes, this yes. way, that number of electrons that would like to increase in the outermost cell, okay? Yes. So if there are maximum number of electrons in the outermost cell, then they will apply a type of force of attraction towards the nucleus or not? Yes, that's right. And then in that condition, the atomic size that will decrease, yes. Because yes. the atom will squeeze in that way. Oh, I see, I see. And that, that's why that first one that will be a little bit, second one a little bit less, then third one, then fourth one, then fifth one, then sixth one, like, okay? Oh, I see, I see. Yes. So that's why that, if there will be, just imagine that if there are electrons around this one, okay? It's okay. a squeezed form, okay? So maximum, yes. maximum amount of energy, amount of energy, energy is required to emit the electron in that case. Clear? Yes, yes. this one's clear. 
Yes, yes, this one is pretty clear. This one's pretty clear. Yes. And wow. yeah. So when atomic size increases, and also just see that if you are moving from up to down, okay? Up to down, okay. Left to right decreasing, atomic size is decreasing. So up to down. If you'll move from up to down, then atomic size increases. Okay? Yes, that's right. Yes. And if atomic size will increase, then ionization potential that will decrease. Okay? Ionization potential will decrease. Yes, that's right. Yes. Understand? Yes, yes. This one I understood. This Why? One I understood. Because with the increase of atomic size, okay? Just see that. I am a little bit I am showing you, okay? Yes. Okay. So you are seeing that they are atomic size is increasing. So if atomic size is increasing, okay. So in that condition, the nuclear attraction on the outer electron that will also decrease, okay. Yes, that's nuclear, right. Nuclear nuclear attraction. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, nuclear attraction. That means so the force which center is applied to the outer muscle. Okay. 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 So as the size will increase, then the electrons will be a little bit uh, means away from the nucleus or not? Yes, that's right. So in that condition, their force of force of attraction that will be less or not? Yes, that's right. So in that condition, it will be much ease. Okay, it will be much easy for them to remove electron. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, force of attraction attraction okay towards towards nucleus nucleus will decrease okay will decrease, decrease. Okay. that is it requires it requires less energy okay less energy oh, energy okay, okay. to remove electron okay Yes, yes. Remove That's electron. A electron. So if it requires less energy, so that means ionization potential or ionization energy that will be less. Clear? Yes, okay. this one's pretty clear. This one's pretty clear. Understand? Yeah, this one is clear. So the second one here, which is the most important one, is the graph. Can you see the graph which says the first ionization energy graph? This graph is going to come from my test and it's going to be for a considerable percentage of marks. The problem is I can't understand the graph. So I, okay, it's copied, wait, wait, but I can't understand I, I, anything I, I, about the I'm graph. I'm doing one thing. So as the class is recording, so I can remove this one, whatever that I wrote here. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes, but I miss it. in your video you will be able to see that, okay? Yes, that's yes, right. you don't have to take a screenshot or any else. Okay. And please uh, always I am requesting you that if you are feeling any problem then your class video will always be after few hours of your class, okay? Yes, yes. that's right. As that's your right. class will complete, I will I will do, I will start to upload your class, okay? I think that the means uh, class size of one hour, that means it will be 1.8 or 2 GB of data, okay? Yes. Yes, so it would like to take a little bit time of half an hour or one hour, okay? After one hour that you will be able to see your class on my channel, yes. Now, yes, what's your question? Tell me. So the question I have is a two-part Wait, question. one more important thing. Wait, wait, hold on. Yes. It's an important question. Very, very important question. What? Write down the factors affecting ionization energy or ionization potential. Yes, I have to marks. memorize this. Yes, it will come two marks question, okay? Yes, yes, that's true. I have to memorize these questions. Yes. So now, but our next... <coughs> So the next one is this one, and this one there are two things. First, I have to know how to do, understand what the graph is talking about. The second is I have to talk about I have to I have to describe the graph. In the right hand side, I've described the graph. I, on the left hand side, it's the graph, and I also must learn how to draw this graph. 
Beta, the problem is most... I don't understand anything about this crap. What is it about? You know that. Know no, 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 but actually, okay, but I'm here to explain you. Don't worry about that. Actually, first of all, as usual, we are discussing about ionization energy. Okay. 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 Just see on your screen. Just see on your screen. Are you able to see? I am drawing a graph a little bit over here. Yes, I can see it. Yes. Hold on. And then I think that it is uh, much convenient to see a little bit here. Yes. Yeah. So here on one side, okay, on horizontal axis, always remember there will be nuclear charge. Okay. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Nuclear charge. You know that why it will be on horizontal axis? Because as we move from left to right, the nuclear charge will increase. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right, all right. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and on y axis, it will be of ionization energy. Okay. Ionization uh, energy. Oh, okay. sorry. Give me one second. That it will be. It will be. It will be. Yeah, ionization energy or ionization potential, any else that you can consider there, okay? Yes, that's right. So now, in the first, as you are moving from, in the first, suppose that there will be one electron, okay? Okay. Okay, so one electron and then, uh, wait, let me... Uh, what you are drawing here in one, in two, in three, what is it? Uh, question for number one, it is dotted. And for number two, it's open linked. And for number three, it's it's like, for number two, it's between barium and boron. For number three, it's between nitrogen and oxygen. These are the different periods, from period one to period two to period three. No, no, in that, it means here, I am, a, I am a little bit understanding that you are explaining about diagonal relationship, okay? Yeah, I don't know what that is. I, I mean, I just copied it down in the most yeah, part. Diagonal There's relation. some information about this graph in number one and number two. Below, can you see it says valence electron and B has one more shell. So I wrote some of the notes I copied in class. But again, I don't understand what majority of this is. Okay, okay. Beta, I think that... Uh, um, okay, give me one second. Yeah, sure. In first one that you are explaining about diagonal relationship so means you know that what is diagonal relationship I can explain you a little bit uh, about diagonal relationship actually uh, what your elements are in first group okay or first period okay okay yeah uh, means uh, uh, if you would like to see your periodic table then uh, a little bit that I am remembering that in a period two there becomes like uh, in first group, second group, third group, fourth group. Okay, I am talking about okay. Or okay. regarding to these four group. Okay, a uh, little bit. Uh, sorry if I will do any mistake, but don't worry about that. That uh, <laughs> there will be very least possibility of 0.1 percent that uh, I will do any mistake. <laughs> okay, but uh, as I am also a human being, maybe. <laughs> so I think that with respect to first group, second group. Uh, third group and fourth group okay okay yes and uh, you can write that uh, period two and period three okay, okay. so period in two. first one in first group there becomes a lithium okay and here period three that is sodium okay and okay. Uh, wait uh, beryllium magnesium yeah here will be beryllium and here will be magnesium mg He'll be boron, okay, sorry, not of O, please, he'll be B only, B, boron, and uh, he'll be aluminium, aluminium, okay, and fourth and one, there'll be carbon and, and silicon. silicon, okay, yes, that's right, yeah. so, beta, bridge elements, that means, uh, when you will arrange, when Mendeleev and other scientists arrange, or when the elements in the periodic table arranged, in this order okay so so that means you can see that whatever will be the physical and chemical characteristic of lithium that is almost same as magnesium okay oh. yes and whatever relationship that is 
whatever physical and chemical characteristic that is with respect to aluminium that is same as beryllium okay oh so, so they diagnose to each other basically yeah and then whatever characteristic that is of boron the same as of silicon okay Oh, yeah see, so see. that means here beta lithium magnesium barium aluminium boron silicon so these are the elements which show similarities in properties with period 3 elements to the next group okay oh can you repeat the last sentence again yeah i am repeating again that these are elements which you are saying that that means period 2 element the uh, period to some elements or three elements they are also having the same physical and chemical characteristic to period three elements okay yes that's right yeah that means they have that and also the elements which shows the similar properties with period three okay to period two okay they are known as uh, means uh, bridge elements okay oh okay 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 yeah so these are bridge element so uh, you can understand that uh, bridge element that means a second second portion yeah second second group elements these are known as lithium beryllium and boron oh uh, sorry give me one second i am choosing another color 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 yep lithium beryllium and boron they are bridge element okay bridge elements okay bridge element yeah and what about means this one so 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 yep and then magnesium aluminum and silicon they are uh, means uh, your typical elements okay typical elements okay typical elements understand beta Yes, this one I understood. Yes, so that means in first one they are explaining about bridge elements, okay? Oh, Approximately okay. what I am seeing here because you can see that period one, period two, and period three. Also, you can see that a little bit better in period one there is less energy, okay? Period two there will be a little bit more energy. In period three there will be more energy, okay? So what does it mean? so that means as the electron would like to be away from the center okay okay as the electron would like to be away from the center then its nuclear charge that will increase and ionization energy that will decrease okay so nuclear charge will increase ionization energy would decrease okay 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 <laughs> But when nuclear charge will increase, then size that will decrease or not? Yes, that's right. And when size will decrease, so maximum amount of energy that will require or not? Yes, that's right. Oh, sorry. I think that I told you wrong. No, miss. A little bit that I told you, miss. Because here you can see that as the nuclear charge will increase here, okay. as the nuclear charge will increase so atomic size will decrease and if atomic size will decrease then ionization energy that will increase that's it simple oh okay okay so what does the dotted line represent dotted line so yeah, that yeah because some some of them are dotted some of them are not dotted so what does that represent no no no, no. you can see that uh, yeah i can uh, with the help of a color uh, yes you can see that firstly period 1 it is going from up here and then they are making dotted line that means uh, it will reduce its energy okay and then again yes. from period 2 in many steps that it would like to increase decrease of its energy level okay because yes. the number of shell that will increase that is increasing okay the number of shells is increasing but then why yeah. does it decrease briefly and then again increase no 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 that's the energy Okay, that's energy level. Okay, energy okay. level that is increasing. Or I think a little bit that uh, maybe that your teacher explained over here the gap between the orbits or shell. Oh yes, uh, you had written here. Oh wait, wait, wait. You had written here. Why you are seeing that first one is here. Of two topics are here specifically that your teacher explained. 
वैलेंस इलेक्ट्रॉन इन एन ऑर्बिटल फर्दर अवे फर्दर अवे द न्यूक्लियस यस दैट्स राइट द इजियर टू रिमूव इट एज लेस अट्रैक्शन यस दैट्स राइट oh my god the same thing that i explained that to you just before so, so what is this one saying in that case <laughs> they are saying okay no problem beta i am saying again i am telling you again as usual the nuclear charge that will be maximum the electrons that would like to be away from nucleus or not a uh, one second sir the screen has blurred uh, uh, can you reshare your screen again um it just now blurred wait 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 i think that it will come again yes i just see that are you able to see clearly oh uh, no it's stuck it's blurred okay hold on i'm sharing my screen give me a second stop sharing and then sharing again give me one second. yes i shared again now kindly tell me that are you able to see on your screen yes, yes. now i can see now can. yes so beta clearly they are explaining that as the valence electron in an orbit further away the nucleus okay that means okay. as as soon as you will move from the center okay to outside okay the electrons okay. in the outermost cell they will away from the center or not yes that's right so in that condition there will be less force of attraction between the center and the outermost cell okay yes that's right so in that condition uh, there will be minimum amount of energy that will be required to emit the electron from the outermost cell okay yes that's right that's why they are saying that that uh, means uh, from outermost cell it is a uh, very easy to remove the electron okay yes understand yes that's fine right. yeah that was your first point in second point they are saying that b has one more cell than b that means boron has one more cell than beryllium yes that's right that because beryllium that has two shells and boron that contains three cells okay okay, okay. Yes. So in that condition, the electrons are easier to remove. Okay. Yes, that's right. Electrons are easier to remove because the force of attraction that will be less. Okay. Yes, that's right. You can also understand in this way, but I am drawing with uh, with 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 with. Are you okay? Wait, hold on, hold on. White color. You are saying yeah. Suppose that boron and barium. Okay, B is here. and uh, it's a one shell and it's a two shell okay are you able to see clearly yes our uh, next one is boron it's a one cell it's a two cell and it's a three cell okay yes yeah so in that way you can see that as usual i explained just before that uh, barium having two uh, means uh, orbit okay so the electrons in this one they will be little bit close to center or not yes that's right okay but if you would like to see boron so whatever electron that will be in outermost cell that will be a little bit away from the center or not yes that's right so it will uh, so which one will feel uh, more force of attraction uh yes. the uh, boron force of attraction i am saying oh from the nucleus it would be beryllium beryllium yeah beryllium so that means if beryllium experience maximum force of attraction so in that condition and boron boron shows the minimum force of attraction okay so yes. that's why that okay that's why that ionization energy of boron that will be lower okay yes that's right and beryllium that will be high Are a simple concept is that if the force of attraction is maximum, so the uh, if the force of attraction is maximum, so maximum amount of energy that will be required to remove electron or not. Yes, that's right. Beta, suppose that you are suppose that 
you are there and I am there. Okay. And okay. suppose that if I would like to, okay, if I would like to means uh, <clears throat> uh, what we can say. Let me think about that. Mm. Okay, 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 okay. Hold on. Suppose that. Suppose that. Uh, um. Oh my God! Many type of misincidents that are coming here. In my mind. I hope you are understanding that one, huh? Yeah, I understand this uh, logic. I understand uh-huh. this logic. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was thinking that uh, I think that I can explain you in a very simple and convenient way. Uh, yeah, there are many examples. Uh, means, uh, uh, less cells, less cells will be there. So that means you will close. Oh, that's great. That's great. That's great. I can explain you in this way. Suppose that you are uh, two or three street away from your house. Okay. Okay. You are two or three state away from your house. Two or three state. Okay. And then uh, in other situation, you are three or four street away from your house. Okay. Okay. So in that condition, suppose that or suppose that. Uh, okay. Okay. I can explain you a little bit. Yes. 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 You are. Okay. Your parents are in China. You are in Spain. Okay. Okay. In your first condition, and. You are your parents are in China and you are in America, okay? Okay. So if you are in Spain, then a little bit force of attraction towards your parents to you that will be maximum or not? Yes, that's right. Then in that condition, if they will motivate you, then you will feel a little bit more energy, okay? Energy. Yes, that's right. But suppose that if you are in, uh, if your parents are in China. And you are in America, so the distance between you and them that's a maximum or not? Yes, that's right. In that condition, that force of attraction that will be minimum or not? Yes, that's right. So in that condition, you will hear from your one ear and you will release that from other. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So what does it mean? It means that when the force simply simply means in scientific language, but when the force of attraction will be maximum. Okay, so you will require maximum amount of energy to emit the electron from the outermost shell. Okay. Okay. And if force of attraction that will be less. Okay. And okay. how is it possible of uh, getting less force of attraction as much as the shell would like to be larger? Okay. As much yeah. as the shell would like to be larger. Okay. Yeah, larger. If there will be maximum number of cells. So that means you are getting away from the nucleus, okay? In yes. that condition, force of attraction that will be less, and then uh, ionization energy, ionization energy that will also be less, okay? Or lower, we can say. Clear? Oh, okay, okay. okay. That's why yes. that they are also saying that boron that have lower ionization energy than barium, okay? Yes. Because barium outermost cell that is a little bit close to center. And boron that is a little bit away from the center, okay? Yes, yes, that's right. That's. Right. Do you understand that? Yeah, this one I understood. This one I understood. Great. Yes, yes. So there are many logics, beta. Okay, there are many logics which we can apply over there. Okay. So uh, yes, I explained this one to you, beta. And also that your graph, whatever explanation I gave to you, your graph is also regarding to same. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes. So that means period two element and period three element you are seeing here. Okay. Period yes. one. Yeah. Period one element. Okay. Period one. Period two. Period three. Oh my God! I can explain you in one very convenient way. You know how? Yes. Because as we move from up to down, that means in periods. Okay. Yes. As we move in periods, the atomic size that would that will increase or not. Yes, okay. that's right. Okay. And if atomic size that will increase, so a little bit you can understand that the n- electrons that will be a little bit far away from the nucleus or not. Yes, okay. that's right. That's why I explained that you before that ionization potential that will be less. Okay. 
Oh, I see, I see, I and see. And your graph is also explaining the same. Okay. Oh, okay. So, can I have another class, uh, another class tomorrow, if possible? Yes, of course. Because I feel, because I feel like yeah. the, I, we need one more class before I can like completely grasp all of these concepts. Yes, it's so one class, because, two because, class, uh, no problem. Thinking, Yes, I was thinking, is your time, uh, is your time, uh, what is that, is your time, uh, wait, nine, seven, ten, yeah, is your time nine o'clock possible? Yes, why not? I will. Oh, awesome, I will. Awesome. I will. Yes, awesome. no so problem. Then can, we can, then we can, can we continue then tomorrow? It's already yes. 55, because I'm a little bit tired now, actually. No, 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 no problem, beta. It's yes. a 55 minutes or it's a 6 o'clock, doesn't matter, 5-10 minutes. Okay, but most important thing is that uh, if you are feeling that you have to do one class, means only that, uh, means who are my, my favorite students or any of a student, beta, suppose that you are thinking that you have to take one more class, if you will intimate me one or one day or few hours before, then I can schedule your class. Yes, and within half hour, uh, yes, within half hour, 100%, half hour and one hour after, if you will see that, then your class will be on my channel, okay? And what the topic will be there? Okay, you are thinking about, you are talking ionization potential, okay? Yes, that's right. Okay, ionization potential. So I think I, I, I will put the topic that uh, trends in chemistry, okay? Trends in chemistry, yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, trends, yes, because that is the trends, Vita, because I'm explaining that uh, from, uh, as you move from left to right, as you move from up to down, okay? So these are known as trends, Vita, okay? Yes. So topic yes, will be right. trends in chemistry or doesn't matter, uh, recent uh, miss video you can see over there, okay? <laughs> and then you understand and you'll see over that, okay? So thanks for today, Vita. Have a great time. I hope you understand that one and when you see your video again, then it will be much convenient for you to understand that. And still, if you are feeling any problem, then it, and don't, means don't see your video from me a little bit, you are seeing that and then you are saying, okay, no, just see that from start to last. Because you know that in that condition that it is, it will be just like as your class. Okay. And then you can consider and then you can configure that either you are understanding or not, or what topic that you are not understanding then you can put those type of questions to me in your next class, okay? Yes, yes, that's great. That's great. Have a great time, Bita, and bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.